Okay, in this tutorial, what we are going to see, how we are going to write the AIDL client. We have already seen the infrastructure that needed for the AIDL client. See this, AIDL client, we have already created the main inside main, we already have this, right, calculate method, Java, we are going to write something over here now. So this is your AIDL client for the more security or for the more safeness you are going to clean the project so that it will generate the stub likewise the server right client is also having ser stub and server is also having the stub and the stub and stub communication is there right this is a stub this stub is going to communicate with the client stub this server stub is going to communicate with the client stub server stub is going to communicate with the client stub and they are going to transport which object implementation object you'll come to know what I mean to say okay now this app let's create let me close all not needed things let me close all and let me open the things which are specific to the client okay so we have this main activity right and into the main activity what I'm going to do is that I'm going to have some UI so let's have some UI two buttons one bound button and one sorry bind button and another is a calculate button we'll see now before calculating you need to bind to the service make sure that you are going to getting bind to the service right okay now inside activity what I'm going to do is that say instead of relative layout let's have linear layout over here <coughs> okay and here you can say orientation is vertical and instead of text view we can get button over here button right width can be match parent width can be match parent height can be wrap content and text you can say at string and btn what you can do is that bind you can say btn bind okay now here you can say bind and let me provide some id at plus id btn bind okay now this here btn bind second thing is calculate right and btn calculate right you can say calculate like this so on the tap of bind we are going to bind to the service on the tap of bind what we are going to do we are going to bind to the service which is already running in another app see now how and so here find view by id r dot id dot btn bind dot set on click listener let me enable the java it or in this project I'll not enable it it takes too much time to load find view by id r dot id dot say btn calculate dot set on click listener and you can say this new view dot on click listener okay we are needing right we are needing we are going to bind the service right can you see bind service there is one call bind service right so it is needing the intent which intent that intent object right which would be having action as that see intent is equals to new intent I can pass action over here right here you can have intent second object would be the service connection object so service con I can say service con connection and third what if that service is not running right what if that service is not running kindly create it bind auto create if that service instance is not created kindly create the instance see here they have given the typical documentation flag for bind service automatically create the service 
as long as the binding exists. Note that while it will create the service, right, its on start command method will still only be called due to an explicit call to the start service, whatever they are saying. But our concern is this. What bind service is does? Bind service is going to create the service as long as binding exists. Okay. So service connection is one of the interface. I'll show you. See private. You can say service connection. You can say con is equals to new anonymous inner type. Can you see on service connected and on service disconnected over here on service connected and on service disconnected. I am interested in this private I common common. So I, I got the reference of I common over here right on service connected I'm going to get reference of this from that remote object. So as long as binding is going to connect it or as long as binding means this client is going to get connected to this service you would be getting access to this object via common interface. So stub will help you to convert what I'm saying this stub will help you to convert right that object to your common interface see how stub dot as interface if you this this object once your connection is going to made successful right that server is going to return the binder and that binder is nothing but what implementation object can you see this thing this service you can use this stub as interface and you can say common is equals to this common is equals to i common dot stub dot as interface so this binder is going to get converted to the implementation object over here okay on the calculate status what I'm going to do is that see log dot i at code cool right at code cool and addition is plus common dot calculate you can pass 10 and you can pass 100 right and it is going to have one exception a remote exception like this right remote object is going to come over here as the binder over here your your stub is converting that object to common interface and you are getting the output over here like this so AIDL client let me run the AIDL client to get the output but you are going to get the error over here right you are going to get the error over here see how explicit implicit intents are not allowed and we have forgotten to pass this action over here still you are going to get the error right go to the AIDL server then you can go to main over here and let me get this action com dot service dot AIDL and inside AIDL client this com dot code cool dot service dot AIDL you might remember that we have faced this same issue right Android 6.0 and above doesn't allow you for the implicit intent you need to convert implicit intent to explicit one right for that we have written the method I'll come back once I'll convert this intent to explicit one from implicit one okay see this I have so here is one method you would be getting on the stack overflow right how to convert ex implicit intent to the explicit intent so for the security reasons Android 6.0 and above has blocked the implicit intent so you need you need to convert implicit intent to explicit intent with this method you can get this method to convert that right I have here converted implicit to the explicit right and first you would be binding and then you would be calculating that is the question so here right I have already bound to the service and after that I am calling what you can say this calculate can you see addition is 110 calculate method addition is 110 you are getting the output over here 
means you successfully bound to the service right after binding you have got the data right fine so here you have converted explicit to implicit right and this is working code so here you are getting the output 110 addition is 110 see this is typically about the AIDL right server would be having one interface client would be having one interface there would be two stubs you don't need to go in that much detail level right how stub works what happens internally right you you can dig into details right but for the developing applications this is super fine right so you would be creating a ideal file you would be cleaning your project in the server same you would be doing in the client right and stub and two stubs are communicating so at the client side sorry at the server side implementation object you are returning as a binder at the client side you are converting that binder to your interface over here so these are two what you can say these are two very much important things over here right okay this is all about what you can say ai dl services this is all about ai dl services right fine if you like our videos kindly subscribe us on the code cool channel